Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house. Back with something new today. Yep, it's not back with another reading. Today, I am back with a review. A great review. Something you guys should be excited about. Because I'm excited. I was really excited when I got it. Let me show you. So, today, I got this treat box from TryTreats.com. All right, my good old friends. They sent me this amazing box. It's fire. Like, I really don't, I normally wouldn't do um, reviews for people, but this, this was it. All right, so let me show y'all something, okay? So what this is, is international snacks and treats from like other countries, other uh, city, not other cities, but other countries, like around the world, different snacks. So this box particularly is an India, it's India, okay? It's got a, uh, it's got the India flag on there, the Indian flag. All right, they got a bunch of amazing treats. I'm about to show y'all a couple. All right, so um, they got these coconut bars. I haven't tried these yet. A lot of the snacks that I've already tried, I don't even have the packaging anymore. But they had these Jimmy Jams. They were like these jelly things. They got these like crispy cookies with like vanilla cream in there. Fire, fire, fire. Don't tell my trainer, I've been cheating a little bit. <laughs> it was worth it though, right? Then they had these, um, these Lay's Mosaic uh, Masala, fire, right? They got these hearts, these little hearts. I'm gonna probably eat these next. These look really amazing. Look at these, they look really amazing. They got that cream in the middle. I love cream in the middle for some reason, all right? They also got these pearl, ooh, pearly cookies. They say you add milk to them or you dip them in milk and it makes it taste better. I don't know, I haven't had them yet. They got these uh, pistachio almond cookies, all right? They also have these Choco, uh, Choco, what is it? Choco, Choco Rolls. I don't know, I don't know, it might be all right. It kinda looks like a Fig Newton, I don't know. I'll see what it's about. Um, but I do like these, the chocolate cookies. Yeah, I'm gonna have these, I've had these before. And they got a butter cookie. And then they had these 50-50 cookies. My God, 50-50 cookies. They were really good. So they're, I think they're biscuits. So they're like sweet and they're salty, but it's like not, because I don't like a lot of sweet. Like if I like sweet, I have to have sweet. But like, if I don't have sweet, I need it to be like salty too, right? So this is, they give you a list of all the snacks that they're gonna send you, all right? It's a big list. I think this is a bigger box, but they have some smaller boxes as well. In my description box though, there's gonna be a 15% uh, off of your first, per per uh, off your first purchase, <laughs> all right? It's gonna be in the description box. You guys could tap that. Um, it's gonna be under Leo in the third house. You guys just go in there and let them know that you support this. This was actually, this was a great buy. And, and it's affordable. When you go on there on that website, you'll see it's affordable. It's well worth the money, well worth it. I'd have paid for this if they hadn't gifted it to me. But I, I'm about to sign up and get me one too because I wanna try some of the, um, some other Asian stuff. You know what I mean? So this is Indian, so I wanna try like some Asian snacks and see what they got or Australian snacks or, you know what I mean? Netherlands snacks, something. I wanna see what, what they eat over there on the other side of the world. What snacks that make them smile and grin? You know, cause these made me smile and grin. So if you wanna smile and grin, go ahead and check out trytreats.com and let them know that Leo in the third house said so. So guys, thank you for letting me share and I'm gonna see you guys at your reading. Nah. I know the plan is aligned, this shit be cosmic, but what's the retrograde to a renegade in the projects? My mindset is to avoid most nonsense and don't comment on issues that I don't vibe What's up with it? It's your boy Nooney, it's Leo in the third house, and we back with another reading. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question, what do people assume about you? All right, so this is going to be an exciting one. I've done something similar to this before. I've seen it come down the timelines a couple of times. And it's something that I, you know, I'll be curious about. But let me put this disclaimer here. People's assumptions are not really your reality. Some may be, but some are not. You know what I mean? So take it with a grain of salt. All right, don't take none of this personal because nobody really cares about what people assume. It's all for fun. You know what I mean? It's like, I wonder, do you assume I'm broke, I'm rich, I'm fat, I'm slim, I'm scared, I'm, you know, I'm happy. Like, what do you, like, just, you know, it's kind of like just thinking about other people's imaginations. Take it that way and not really their judgments, all right? Take it more about their imaginations. That's why I want to put out there because I don't want people to be taking this in a more negative. I can't control how you'll take it, but 
the intention is not for you to take it with uh, malice or or like taking the negative aspects and holding on to that for face value because it's just an assumption. You get me? All right, so we got four piles here. Take a look at those. There's going to be a close-up in the description box, all right? Um, I took a great picture of those, so look for that. Um, as always, thanks to those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, getting involved. Thanks to those people who trusted me. Thanks for all that support. Y'all be there for me when I be going through stuff, you know? I always seem to be like a worry wart, but y'all be there, and I appreciate y'all very much. Very much. All right. Um, I think that was it. I think that's it. So uh, take a look. This will be part one, two, three, four. Like I said, timestamps going to be in the description box as well as a close up of the stones, not the piles of the stones. All right. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how the picture of the stones. And I'll come back. I'm going to get started with pile one. Boom. Pile one. So pile one. What do people assume about you? All right. So you could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a Cancer, Libra Gemini Aquarius, a Libra Scorpio. I got Gemini. Or this could be the people. All right. So what do people assume about you? People assume you have a great body or you look good naked. Um, yeah, your physical body. That's what I just seen. Physical body. So <laughs> people assume that you have a good body, like it's attractive. And people assume that you're very emotionally intelligent or that you have a lot of emotional depth, that you could be a little moody or you could be also very sympathetic, like very nurturing, caring, compassionate for people. They maybe also think that you like tiptoe away from conflict or tiptoe away from like situations that you're not like, like if you don't really know something, you don't really be around or you don't like, you maybe you like side talk it in a way. Or maybe that's how you let people in to your life. Or maybe that's how you enter people's lives, like in like a sideways manner. Like you don't like maybe because cancer energy gives like that closed up feeling. So like people maybe assume that you it's hard to get near you because maybe you're soft on the inside like tender on the inside or that you like to like emerge into people like immerse into people you know what i mean so that maybe they feel like you maybe tend to like stay superficial because it for some it gives like they assuming that you're maybe moving on like they have assumed that this the situation isn't going to progress or that the relationship isn't going to go to the next level for others people are thinking that you're going through some type of um, physical or psychological transformation some ending that's happening here and you don't really know where to go um it's making you become a lot more uh, vulgar or a lot more um blunt like the way that you speak comes off a little harsh a little critical very cold people could assume that you have high standards or very high expectations of other people they could definitely feel like you like you hold you harp on things or you hold on to like anger, frustration. Like with that cancer energy, they kind of feel like you hold on to that. Now a lot of people think that you're very intelligent or that you learn very fast. So they assume that you like you like you always have your eyes open. Like you're very observant. That's what it is. They assume that you're very observant, that you keep your eyes open. Now people also assume that you are someone who's not afraid to cut people off if they yeah with the queen of swords here that you're not afraid to cut people off if they no longer align with you especially with the four of pentacles people could also assume you're a free spirit they think of that duality so like while you may be very serious and very straightforward and very direct and very clear and very intellectual and very like good with talking and communicating um, they also see the duality of maybe you curse or maybe you're just like very aggressive in your tone or uh, I was gonna say maybe very boisterous with your tone or it's like that it's like there's an assumption that that you can maybe be very critical of people now other people assume that you could be into like finances maybe you invest or you're banking or like you're very solid with your investments like you know where to put your time and your energy they feel like you have a good life so a lot of people are assuming that you're living like a good life, a comfortable life. Like you have luxuries, you have good food, good clothes. Like people could assume that you're a good time as well. 
So a lot of people could assume that you're sexual, but you keep that hidden or you keep that quiet or a lot of people think you're intense. So they assume that you're very intense. Like you can get really riled up or you can get like, maybe you speak profoundly because sometimes for me, the Scorpio, I mean, the death is a influential person. They can change the tide of a situation. So people assume that you're like very powerful or very strong in some way, or others have felt like you've had some type of ego death. So people could assume that you have like some type of ego death and now you're not afraid to speak what's on your mind or say what's on your mind without really thinking about it. So maybe you talk a lot. So that's probably why people assume people assume that you you don't care about what other people think or how other people see you. Like your filter, it's the way that you talk. And I'm not saying like tone, but I mean like the words that you use, the phrases that you use. They can come off a little bit like a punch in the mouth in a way sometimes, or like it hurts people's ego. People could assume that you're very practical though. And that you, that you learned, or maybe you went to school, like you learned lessons, you've learned lessons, you've learned your lessons from the past. So some people can feel like you're bitter. They assume you're bitter. They assume you're still hurt about something or resentful of something, something from the past. They feel like you're still holding on to that. You could be a little bit um, stingy. So people could feel like maybe you're stingy with resources, stingy with money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe not necessarily the most open with people like the like that's what people really assume like you don't like you can talk and you can communicate but they kind of feel like it'd be straightforward with you like maybe business as usual like it doesn't give me too many emotions the emotions like maybe you dread having emotions out like people feel like you have a lot of emotions but like you you shy away from like expressing them you shy away from really like saying what's on your heart or on your mind probably based on something that's happened to you in the past so like a lot of people feel like you doubt your ability to communicate. They assume that you that you don't know how to well, not that you don't know how to, but like they assume that you prefer not to because of the way that you talk to people. Like so they pref they think that you prefer not to talk to people because of the way that you talk to people, if that makes sense. Or maybe cuz you talk to a lot of people. So it could be like that too. Like people kind of feel like you're bothered in a way or like they're bothering you. So they assume that maybe they're bothering you. Or like they're in your space. Like maybe you don't like people around in your space or too close to you. It almost gives that like that, yo, don't touch me. That's what people assume, like don't touch me. Like you don't want them like that close to you in your space. But like life is going well for you and that you're like, so like they, they from the outward appearance, people assume that you're doing well, that things are going well for you, that you're celebrating and you're living a lavish life and having experiences that are like notable or, or memorable, you know what I mean? And that you have like good investments or good stability around you. Some of, some people could assume that you're, that you're, uh, that you give a little bit like, like, but like not like generous, but like you give, you give with like intention of not like giving to receive, but like, I'm, I'm gonna say reciprocal. Let's say people assume that you are like very strict about getting what's owed to you or like giving, getting what, what, you, what you're owed. I mean, I guess it's the same thing I just said, but yeah, it comes off like that. Now, other people could assume that you're a know-it-all, like you're very intelligent and you, and you know a lot more than the average person, like you submerge yourself in the information. So people could probably think of you as like maybe a researcher, because that's what the Page of Swords is, a researcher, a student, um, a scholar. You know what I mean? A writer. So you could be that. People could assume that maybe you're very good with like writing, writing with words. You know what I mean? Anything with the mental or logical aspect. Like people assume that you're very like well, well versed in that. I was going to say well mannered because it does come off as like mannered. You know what I mean? Knowing the right thing to do, the right thing to say. So a lot of people assume that you're like, like based in reality. Like all your experiences are like from a more logical perspective from a more physical or stability, like stable perspective, like it has to make reasonable sense to you. So a lot of people will assume that, that I guess you don't allow people into, into your life if it doesn't seem reasonably or logically like the best choice. Hmm. So some, like I said, some people could assume you're going through schooling or like learning lessons or like in training or 
something along the lines of that. They could assume that you like overpriced gifts or that that's what they would have to give you to be able to see your body. <laughs> so like some men or some women maybe feel like they have to like maybe over give or give you a gift with an agenda. So they would have to like that maybe you have to think about or other, or vice versa. Or they may assume that you're the person that would give overpriced gifts that have ulterior motives. You know what I mean? Like they can feel like you have ulterior motives. So other other people assume that sometimes I was going to say like, like you're just like, like they'd see you as very smart, but some, some people assume that you could just be like looks, like looks, just looks and brains. Like maybe it's all superficial with the information that you have. And I don't know why I got that just now, but like that's, it kind of comes off like that. Cause they feel like you have an attractive body. You're very like attractive physically or at least sexually, but they feel like it, there's like, more like maybe it's worth it's not as worth as much trouble as it may be like there may be like more that comes along with it like trouble may come along with this amazing body that you have yeah. or because that because of that balanced nature they could also feel like you refrain from like having sex with them or you People could assume that you are refrained from having sex. Like maybe you place more value on your sex than everybody else. Like you, maybe you like value your sex in some way. So people could assume that way. Like you, like you take your sexual energy seriously. That could be the assumption. Like you just don't give it to everybody or there's a high price to get it, to get it from you. Like it's a steep price to be able to get sex from you or to be able to see your body or to be able to get some type of like intimacy like that from you. They feel like it's a high price. Now, for others, people could be assuming that they pay to see your body. You know what I mean? Like, people are paying to see your body. Like, there's an ulterior motive to the gifts that you're giving or the gifts that they give you. Like, they give you gifts. So, maybe people could be assuming that they give you gifts that they'd be able to get something from you. Like, see your body or see something like that. So, there could be an assumption that something like that is going on. People are assuming that you're starting to feel pride in yourself and your purpose. And you're starting to run wild and free. And starting to be a lot more curious about life or inquisitive, like asking more questions. The page, though, is usually somebody who comes like, who becomes like, who they're like, what was the, what's the saying? Um, wide eye, wide eye and bushy tail, meaning like wide awake, aware, like, you know, chipper, like a baby squirrel, like, you know, this is a whole new world. So like people could assume you're, you're seeing the world in a new view or a new, a new way, like just the duality here. Like that's really what's showing up first was duality and physical body. So like people feel like you're seeing the world from a new view or a new perspective, almost like the hangman, but this is like on your own doing. Like you maybe started somewhere, you started off as like a like a scholar or like a apprentice and you and you worked your way up. So like a lot of people are seeing you as like working your way up. They assume you've worked your way up in a company. They assume you've worked your way up in information and knowledge that you dispense. They assume that you've uh, elevated in some way through like letting go of like an old version of yourself and shedding it like snakeskin. And this has allowed you to get deeper and be open to new information or new perspectives that you wouldn't have been before had you um, stayed like stayed the course or stayed the path. Now for others, they also assume that you are like very stubborn with your thinking and you're not open-minded to new ideas because of that Queen of Swords and that Four of Pentacles. They could be feeling like you're closed off to new information or new ideas that you only see it your way. Kind of gives the emperor vibe with the Scorpio. I mean, with this death here, this is a powerful transformation through saying no or through setting boundaries. So people could assume that you have very strict or very strong boundaries and you don't just let anybody in. Yeah. But here's some advice. Prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me to not fear the transient nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally loved and guided by God and all creation. So, oh, let me give you signs. So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini. All right, so pile one. Oh, we got cancer too. So pile one, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house. Boom, pile two. So 
Pile two. What do people assume about you? Wow. Okay. I can see that. Oh. Okay, so. There's a couple things here. So we're gonna try to maybe break it down a little at a time because it's a lot of things at one time. And I may not catch all of it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that straight from the rip. Because a lot of people could think that you live in an illusion, under an illusion, all right? They could feel like um, you're working through like old habits, your past, and then karmic past shows up first. So a lot of people could assume you're working through karmic lessons old behaviors, old patterns, old traumas, like you're trying to heal those, you're trying to be responsible and mend those situations. You're trying to see life from a more realistic view. But people could also assume that that you either struggle with that, like struggle with temptation, struggle with overindulgence, struggle with um, like not being able to commit to like one thing or one person some people may feel like you have an issue with committing commitment in any way like being responsible or handling business or handling maybe daily task you could be working towards that they could assume that you're working towards that or it could assume that you need help like putting that together like doing that for others people assume that you could sing like you have a nice voice or they could assume that you're very good at communicating So some people might feel like you can paint a picture, like a clear picture in some way. Now other people are assuming that you're, you're experiencing some type of potential stagnancy in some way, like you're not seeing the truth or you're not seeing clearly that something's coming to an end. This could be a relationship, this could be a family. Like some people could feel like you're holding out hope maybe for like a family or for like a happily ever after with somebody from the past or somebody who, um, I guess because the karmic is here, somebody who you had like a karmic past with or somebody who you had some type of tie bond with, someone who you might have felt used by. Could have, oh, Did I give you the signs? I don't think I did. Uh, we got Scorpio, we got Sagittarius, we got uh, Taurus, and we have Cancer. Yep. So it could be you, it could be them. But um, people are assuming that you don't recognize your strengths, your own strengths, like your personal strengths, or they're assuming that you do know your, your strengths and you're being responsible by trying to work on them and heal. So it's one of the two things. It can go either which way there. I don't know why it's like feeling like flippy flop because it felt like it's a whole lot, but we're going to keep going. So also other people could be assuming that you're either um, like a mentor or you're like in a, working for the government or you, or you work for like an established place or you have some type of like status that people respect like you could be well well known or or like stabilized in some type of sense like maybe you have a home people could assume you own a home or they could assume that you're like very religious like your house is a religious home or a very spiritual home you know a lot of people assume that you have power though or like you have clout like you have clout in some way. Some people could feel like you're hiding, like, like, uh, like your past, or you're hiding um, some of your negative traits, behavior. So they're assuming that you're gonna, like, you're revealing, you're gonna reveal yourself, or that you are like hiding behind a mask of some sense. Like you're painting an illusion. People could find you to be an illusionist. They can assume this about you. Like you're probably really smooth with your talking. Like it's your voice. This one. Last pile was kind of similar, but this one's like a lot different because this one's about tonal. So like your your tone of voice, people could assume that your voice can cause people to like, almost like a Knight of Cups energy where people can get wrapped up in what you say and they can kind of fall for it, fall for the illusion. Because the Seven of Cups is here too, which can be sometimes be temptation or sometimes it's about like seeing through illusions. But in this case, they're saying that they assume that people fall for your illusions or fall for your game. So like you got game because it says... Bad, bad Santa, and this is usually somebody who's who's uh, you know caring, loving, generous. But bad Santa is supposed to be somebody who takes advantage or is very tough, hard body. You know what I mean? Assertive. 
You know what I mean? This is somebody who maybe is like more down to business than than anything. So people could probably assume like you're more down to business. You could be maybe a little bossy. Like you may tell people what to do or what they should be doing. Like people could assume that like you have some type of authority. Like you're in charge of something in some way. You know what I mean? Like they can assume that you have like close family values or like you value like family or traditions. Like people could assume like you're like very traditional in some way or like very structured in some way. Like you give off more of a adult, mature type of energy. So they really think you're stable and comfortable. So some people assume that you're like a comfort zone or something that they can like get attached to. Something that they can possibly transform a situation into or tra- like you know make a situation go a lot further than than maybe their previous relationships because like people can see a, a happy home with you a happily ever after they can see relationships going the long term with you but they could also assume that you may be like someone who gets impatient and calls like quits or calls like you know I mean like creates like mm, creates like drama or stress in the emotional way like, so people assume that you can be, like, hiding or hiding behind, like, a more pleasant, peaceful, kumbaya type of energy, but you really could be hiding more of, like, a, a deceptive or more of, like, skeletons or, like, a, like someone who's very cold-hearted in some way. Like, that could be really hidden. So, like, people probably assume that you, like, put relationships in, like, a purgatory where they don't really go anywhere, but you're very comfortable like so you're like you're very comforting so it's like kind of like deception it's not kind of but it is like people can assume like you're deceptive with your motives like you come off as like nurturing loving caring you know what i mean down the business like you know not leaving any stone unturned but relationships could possibly take a potential stagnancy with you because either you rush them you know what i mean like you rush it so maybe you're just there for the experience or you like get into like a user like what they consider like a user mode because the uh, scorpio to death is here which is about uh, inheritances transference of like deeds insurance death it's other people's money so like something like that like people could maybe feel like you use people for resources or you use people for like clout or they use you for clout you know what i mean so people could be assuming that like one of those two things like people use you for clout or you use people for clout like because you have status you have respectability people respect you they respect your handle people assume you have tunnel vision on the things that you really want so yeah you could be somebody who kind of like falls for temptation or what they assume they assume that you just can't commit and that you just have too many options or too many irons in the fires too many things going on you can get overwhelmed and you just don't choose anybody now other people could assume that you maybe wanted to like mend a previous relationship did i say that Cause that's why I keep kind of going back to because like that mending keeps showing up. So a lot of people feel like you want to mend something from the past or you're trying to fix your past in some way, but you're becoming stagnant by holding on to it. So a lot of people are assuming that. Like, I don't know, they're assuming that you're getting fruits from like working through it. But like a lot of people also feel like you're still holding on to it, if that makes sense. Like you have gifts. So people could assume like you have some type of gifts or you're like giving of that way. They could assume that you have children. Yeah, people could assume that you have children. And they could they could kind of assume that you're, like, very forgiving or, like, I was still spiritual is still showing up. You know what I mean? But a lot of people feel like you have one foot in and one foot out, though. So, like, one foot in to maybe spirituality and practicality and, you know what I mean, like, religious beliefs or traditional values. And then, like, one foot in to, like, this taboo, mystical, occult, you know what I mean, breaking rules or like, you know, doing mysterious or hidden things, you know what I mean, that probably wouldn't be appreciated or valued by like society or the normal, the norm. So like that's what people are assuming about you. Not saying that that's what it is, but that's what they assume. Some people assume that that you get treated like royalty too, or you get treated like, um, like just somebody important. Like you have, like that's really it. That's really it. People assume that you're loyal to someone who's close to you, but like they're starting to give you doubt. So people could, that's probably what that is. People could assume that you're holding on to somebody who who you're still loyal to, but the loyalty of them gives you doubt. So like people assume that you just don't know how to like maybe create boundaries or maybe the people around you don't know how to create boundaries. 
they feel like there's an issue here that you fall into um, temptation. You fall into not being able to make up your mind or, or really follow your feelings in situations. They feel like you make impulsive or rash actions or moves or you're always on the fence about whether you want to go deeper or not. You know what I mean? Like people could see you and they could assume you to be like marriage material or like someone who they can set like a foundation with, but you may not necessarily be with it. Or it's the other way around. You could be rushing to do it and other people could feel like it's an illusion, like like you're just trying to get them to fall into the game before they really get to know who you are. So they could feel like you would like, you know, reveal another version of yourself that's not who you were originally when they met you. So that could be the assumption. But here's the advice. Courage. Dare to be different, to make mistakes, create, for it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. And then we have patience. Patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that your whole event wasn't I me mean, that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust you are eternally loved and guided. So let me give you signs again. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus. All right. So, pow two. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Newton, and this Leo in the third house. Boom. Pow three. So, pow three. What do people assume about you? Oh, okay. So this one is, huh? Okay. So you could be, or this could be the people. You could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries, could be a Libra, could be a Capricorn, could be a Scorpio. Okay. Okay, so people could assume you're doing some type of inner healing, inner child healing. Like you're remembering what it's like to appreciate the simpler times in life. So people could assume that you have like a childish wonder or a childish like joy to you or like maybe you're healing that that aspect of yourself they can assume that you have that you have choices or options when it comes to like stability or that you have status you know so for some they could uh because the uh, 10th house is here and that can sometimes be like long-term achievements like marriage like that type of status so maybe people could assume that you're married Cause i got six of pentacles here too but some people could assume that you're um maybe not loyal to somebody or you're unapologetically like exposing a more darker side or a more primal side so people feel like you're a st so people could assume you're like somebody who's stable even in the face of like chaos or in the face of like unexpected changes or or just like things not going how as planned like they feel like you're very stable and you make great choices or good investments so some people could assume that you uh can make your dreams true, make your dreams come true, but like not through the most practical, the most practical um, ways, which is kind of weird because the first sign out was Capricorn energy, which is normally practical energy. Instead, people assume that you use willpower or you use might or you use assertiveness and aggressiveness, like domination in some way. So uh, people feel like you don't have as vivid an imagination, but like you get things done by like might or pure will. If that makes sense. So like maybe like a bully. So maybe people can assume like you're a bully because Six of Wands is here, which can either be one of two things. One, they could assume that you've had like a fall from grace and now you're having to make a choice about your stability or your status or your career. Or people could assume that you're very conceited because of your status and your career and your achievements and you have choices and options. You know what I mean? So you could be somebody who's very like haughty or expecting praises all the time. So people could assume that you expect praise because you're very like 
established or like even with the six of pentacles six of pentacles was um about people who were like upper echelon type of people and they would come down and they would give you know generously to the lower level people to the, the peasants and the i forgot what they were called to the people who were just like working the fields and all that they would come down they would look out give them gifts it'd be like a way of giving back to the less fortunate so some people could assume that you are generous and giving to the less fortunate or giving of opportunities to people who are maybe like overwhelmed or people who are stressed or people who maybe want to give up or who aren't as as stable or perseverant disciplined something like that along the lines like maybe you help people with discipline now for others people could feel like you get overwhelmed with your responsibilities like you like it becomes too much so some people could assume that you get um, like you get overwhelmed or you get you become oppressed or, or like weighed down when people aren't celebrating you or when people aren't praising you like you need a lot of reassurance so some people could assume that you need a lot of reassurance and other people could assume that you're indulging in something possibly toxic or a little shadowishy like that where it needs to be healed so some people could feel like you're having maybe an identity crisis or you're like having trouble realizing who you are or what, what you want to be or who you want to be or how you want to be so some people could feel like you have issues just like maybe keeping it real or keeping it real with yourself so some people are assuming that you have abundance coming, that you regularly receive, that you, or that you regularly regularly receive abundance. So either you're ready to receive abundance or you regularly receive abundance. I couldn't really figure out what I was saying just there. So it could have been one of those two. So some people are assuming you to be a fighter, like aggressive. Yeah, aggressive with the shadow side and the Mars. Yeah, some people could assume you to be like a bully or a fighter or just like very domineering. You know, they could assume you, you mean that eventually you'll get yourself together. So some people are assuming that you have a choice about being stable or like still dealing with chaos, you know what I mean, and not making your dreams come true. So some people could assume that like you're having a, like a, a, a ego battle between what to do. Like, should you... Um, you know, go towards maybe being married or should you still keep indulging in, let's say, maybe casual sex or, you know, or being single, right? Um, or should you, like, focus more on, like, your career, your ambitions, your goals, your drives, you know what I mean? Or are you more into, like, I don't, I don't know, playing, I don't know, bingo on the weekends and drinking liquor, I don't know, you know, something along the lines of that, like, something like that, something shady. They could assume that you maybe do shady stuff because you got the, uh, or so for some, they could assume that you break the law. They could assume that you break the law because you got justice in reverse and the shadow side. So some people could assume that you break the law for money. All right. They could assume that you're doing something that's a little crafty and you're using your imagination to do it or you're using like a, a, a intricate web or you're using like an illusion or you paint like a, some type of illusion to be able to get like success or money or something along the lines of that. People could be assuming that. All right. It could be assuming that you're trying to get yourself together on your chosen path so that way you can see success and you're having, like I said, a choice to make here. So they're assuming that you're either struggling with your inner authority or you're coming into the potential of your own inner authority and you're recognizing that. So it's one of the two there. Mm -hmm. People could assume that you just kind of like give it up, like fuck it. Like I guess if it becomes, if anything becomes too like burdensome, you just like, ah. Uh, I'm good. Just let it go. Just drop it. You just drop it. Yeah, and they feel like you don't talk or say what's really on. Like, you don't always give the truth. So some people could feel like you lie or, like, you are vague with your truths. Like, you're not very direct in some way. Like, you keep your ideas to yourself. So people could assume that. Like, they can assume that you keep, like, wisdom or your ideas or information to yourself. Like, you, never, you don't let people know your next move. Yeah. Hmm. Some people can feel like you're inconsistent, like with your plans, like you don't follow through with your plans. So people could assume that they could assume that you don't follow through with your plans, that you just kind of like maybe wing it or like you just kind of like you just maybe feel like as long as I show up, that's it. You know, what I mean, kind of kind of come, comes off like that. Like as long as I show up to the party, as long as I show up to work, they lucky I'm here. So like people could assume like you're it's definitely conceited or arrogant, like. As long as I show up, I'm here. So like your bossly status or some sense or like this demeanor of like you don't have to follow the rules. 
Like maybe you make the rules because the justice in reverse with the shadow side. So like, like you don't have to follow the rules. So people could assume that you don't follow rules. You know what I mean? They could assume that that you could see yourself as possibly better than others or like a higher level than others, and you use your status to do that. So this is an assumption. This is what people are assuming about you, or they assume about you. They assume that you see the world through the eyes of like a child. So some people probably feel like you need to grow up. Because that's probably with that shadow side with the, with the justice in reverse and the six of pentacles. You know what I mean? It's like knowing your value. They could feel like maybe you don't know your value. So some people could assume that. Could assume you don't know what your value is or don't know what, uh, the like maybe the burdens that you carry or like the purpose of, or like, yeah, like, like the value of what you do or the value of your responsibilities. Like maybe you don't necessarily take your responsibilities the most serious. This is what people could assume. Or like that you put your burdens off on the other people. Like you put you put your worries, your struggles, your stresses off on other people. So some people could assume that some you know what I mean well in this case they could assume that you're like materialistic. And like you put your, your stress or your worries on other people, but you won't carry theirs. And for others though, people do assume that you will. They assume that you would help them carry their burdens. Because it can go both ways because we got the six of pentacles here, which is about weighing. And we got Libra here with the justice, so that there's that balance and that duality here. Some people assume you're getting recognized, though, for something. Recognized for an achievement, or you're just, like, re really well-respected. But they could also feel like you're not, like I said, loyal to anybody. Like, you don't, maybe not have the most integrity. So some people could assume that you're maybe not the most honest or the most integral in some way, or not, like, exercising the most integrity in some way. Like, you, you put up a facade or illusion in some way. This is what people could be assuming. They could be assuming that you're having a lot more trouble than what you're letting on, or you're having a lot more stresses going on in your life, like chaos is going on around you, or a lot of like conflicts, or a lot of like issues that you really don't know how to handle or are happening around you, and you could feel like weighed down by them. You know, and it could be messing up your successes, or it could be messing up your public face, your public recognition. So like people feel like that's more of a more of a burden or an obstacle for you is your public face or your, your your reputation. Like maybe you're popular or you used to be popular. So some people could assume that you used to be popular or some people could assume that you're overly like overly popular. If that is a, is that a way? Is that a word? I think it is. We're going to go with it because that's what it is. It's like it's like uh, like more people know you than they should know you. You know what I mean? Like that. Like people could assume that more people know you than should know you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cold. That's kind of cold. That's kind of cold. That's like saying that, so, like, a hundred people know you. Why? That's kind of like saying that. So it's kind of like that vibe. Like that's like some hater shit. <laughs> it's over your status, though. It's over your status. So a lot of people feel that way over your status. They can feel like you have a lot of long-term goals. And then like, you have choices and options that maybe other people don't have. And this makes you seem like you're better or you maybe act like you're better. Like people could assume that. You may not necessarily act that way, but people could assume that that's who you are because of this. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like people people assume that you put things into action, ideas, dreams, you know what I mean, like thoughts and stuff. But they also feel like you get overwhelmed or like weighed down by these things and you stop like pers persevering or you stop being persistent. Like you slow down after maybe like some clout or after some fame or after some like attention, then you start to like calm down. So it's something along the lines of that. So I guess like if you're maybe let's say, um, say you were having like an argument or disagreement with somebody or like people that you love or care about weren't really like acknowledging you in the way that you want. You would basically like throw a little fit or you like because with the Mars energy, this is somebody who gets aggressive. So you probably would throw like a little fit and then people would give you your way. And, you know, so people could probably assume that you're spoiled. They could probably assume that you're spoiled or like like you get your way, like you like you always get your way in some way. Because it's kind of like annoyed. And that's why I kind of feel like annoyed. Like, you know, like you're a bully. You just get you just like people just like fall to their feet for you. Like, who are you? So I, maybe so maybe they weren't like. On like no hate hater stuff maybe they were just like feeling like you know you think you all that because you got status or because you know because you got stability because you have choices and because you have you know possibly money or finances you know what I mean you could be stable and in a position to give and give back and they could be like feeling like 
uh, like, who are you? <laughs> like, who do you think you are type of vibe? You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> or for others, people could assume that you wouldn't acknowledge them. Like, you would, you know, you would probably press on past them. Like, you might, you know, throw them a little bit of crumbs, but you really don't acknowledge them. So people could assume that you don't really respect them. Yeah, people could assume that you don't really respect them, respect their title, respect their position, respect their jobs or their tasks, their duties. Like people could feel like you don't respect yours or you don't respect theirs. It's something along the lines of that. Huh. People assume that you're getting honors though, like you're being honored in some way. Here's the advice though. Miracle, dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together, we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. Ooh, go you. And then we got prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me dissolve past guilt and regret. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. So let's go over signs one more time. You could be a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Aries, a Leo, uh, oh, Sagittarius, Taurus, uh, Libra, or a Scorpio. All right. So, Pile 3, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nuni, and it's Leo in the third house. Boom. Pile 4. So, Pile 4, what do people assume about you? So, you could be a Scorpio. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Leo. You could be a Taurus. Ooh. You could be an Aries. You could be a Scorpio. Oh. Okay. So, first and foremost, people could assume that you're getting um, non traditional money in some way, or you got like a big lump sum, a payout, you know what I mean? Something like that. Or you've had a big financial loss in some way. This could be like in stability, this could be in money, this could be in like uh, opportunities even because we got a seven of cups here too with the ace of cups. So there could be like missed opportunities or something like that. Now other people, just what they could be assuming. They could assume that you've missed opportunities in love too. So people could assume that you've had like some type of sudden upheaval when it comes to like investments, traveling or like the future of like your money so like people could feel like you're trying to create new plans or what new ways to make money just the assumption that you focus on other people's finances or other people's promotions other people moving up like you focus on other people's uh like i guess money like some people assume that you hustle that you bring home like a lot of money or you bring home bacon so like a lot of things are happening here just around your resources like taboo so people could be feeling like you're very secretive with like how you make money or you're very secretive with like hustling yeah or something like that so people feel like you have fetishes like they assume like you fetishize things or you like you have this shadow side that really is evolved around like involved around like either sexual liberation or destruction in some way through like empowering yourself by doing what you want so people could probably feel like you just do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Like you're lucky. Like the divine has your back. Spirit has your back. You know, God has your back. Like you like you pretty much can just kind of do what you want. This is what people assume. Because we got co-create with spirit too. And we got little. So people could feel like you're able to create. Create abundance, wealth, stability. For some, through like illegal means. For others, through like self-empowering. Through like hustling. This is, could be like, you know... 
Um, and hustling don't have to be illegal. It could just be like, you know, selling socks on the Beltway or, you know, selling whatever. You know what I mean? Sneakers. You know what I mean? Reselling sneakers, reselling whatever. You know what I mean? Like you could be doing something like that. They could be feeling like you've had some type of epiphany that's, that's hit you about the future. So people could feel like you maybe know the future because crow spirit is also about being able to see into this future because of spirit. So that could be that. Like maybe people could assume that you have like a great intuition or, or you're able to see through the veil. Like you're able to see clarity. Yeah, even with the uh, fountain. Fountain is about expressing um, expressing stories, like like being able to express longevity or be able to express future future based things future based ideas so people probably could assume that you're very good at telling stories and for some they could see you as possibly like telling lies for others people assume that you're like some type of temptation or like you're into temptation like you you get tempted maybe by fast money or you get tempted by money so some people could feel like you're tempted by money like that's a fetish for you or it's like something that makes you feel empowered makes you feel strong you know what i mean like you could have temptations around like destructing stuff or breaking stuff so maybe people assume that you like to break things mm. now others people could feel like you maybe you can't find love or you haven't found any options that you find vi valuable or like real like people could feel like you have the illusion of success in some way so like maybe you have a lot of options and people consider that like an illusion like those aren't really real options like this could even be at like work or like creative ventures because sometimes the ace of cups can be like a creative venture you know it's, it's uh yeah it's like a manifestation of creative abundance sometimes it's about like pregnancies and stuff like that brand new beginnings and love replenishments and all that some people could assume that you want that like you want to go back to that type of energy where you don't have to commit you don't have to settle down with anyone you don't have to choose you can just have unlimited options some people won't think that that's that that's about you and for others people feel like you haven't found the ones that you really want and so you're you're about to keep looking or you or you are looking so you could be like on the prowl or, or like keeping your eyes out for like opportunities to build stability or wealth this is what people assume like you always keep your eye out either for opportunities to build stability and wealth but they kind of feel like um, like you're not really someone who reciprocates feelings and emotions. So a lot of people could assume like you have issues expressing emotions, like really getting to the bottom of situations. You tend to avoid, 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 you know what I mean? So that's what people assume. They assume that you avoid and maybe blame other people because clean it up is in reverse, which is about focusing on other people's wrongs when you really should be focusing on your side of the street. So like that's what people could assume like you focus on other people's wrongs, you focus on other people's finances, you focus on other people's promotions, you focus on other people coming up, you focus on other people's like expansions and all that stuff. You know what I mean? This is just the assumption. They assume that you focus on other people's wins and stuff like that. And for others they feel like you uh you focus on other people's destructions, other people's uh fetishes or other people's like uh, independence like the things they do now for for others they assume that you have independence but you're you could either be destructive or you found empowerment through like either liberating yourself by doing things that you want to do regardless of what others expect or you've empowered yourself through sexuality all right and aggression so people could be assuming that about you now taboo is here too which could also mean that some people could assume that you're not their usual type or like dealing with you is taboo in some way like you know like maybe there's like a lot of intensity with you or like it's like a lot of eroticism in some way with you like it, it kind of gives that vibe people could assume that people from your family are trying to reach out to you they could assume that you don't have as uh, a, a connection to like ancestors or a, a a connection to old family values or ethics like some people could, f could feel like you don't follow ethics or a code of ethics a code of conduct so people could assume that they could assume that you're not open to love right now or you're not taking offers of like commitment or trust like maybe you have trust issues this is what people could assume about you that you have trust issues but you're about to start coming out of the shadows about to, that means that you're about to start revealing yourself or you're going through some type of transformation that's about to allow you to like shine and maybe speak your truth so this is what people could be assuming that you're about to be due for maybe a promotion or that you're about to like express some type of truth and it's going to bring you through like a dark damper type of time in your life 
Yeah, okay. So other people could assume you just had a child or you want children or that you're trying to like re, re, have like a rebirth in your life. Like you're trying to start over again. You know, but you're trying to do it by being untamed and tapping into like your darker aspects, which is Lilith, which are those more empowered. It's the feminine aspect of like empowerment. So it's like the masculine feminine version. It's like a, maybe we can consider like a perfect balance. It's a female, but she's very masculine and she chooses her own path and destiny. So you say so you could be like, that's what people could be assuming. Like you're choosing your own path and destiny. You're breaking societal codes and you don't follow ancestral patterns or beliefs or family codes of conduct like you just do your own thing you're focused more on money and you're focused more on like promoting yourself or moving up in the world and possibly sweeping away other competition or sweeping away things that you deem is not committable like not worth committing your time your love your passion your your uh like your i just want i guess i want to say feelings like not not committing your feelings and all to it they could feel like you're having like an illusion of success. So people could assume that you're that you're like being tempted by the illusions or delusions of grandeur or illusions of success. Like the idea of maybe being rich, famous, wealthy, like you're you're being uh deluded by that. This is what people could assume. They could assume that you're maybe very materialistic. Like you focus a lot about money and status and what other people think or how other people are making their way in the world. That's what people assume. Mm. They could assume that you have like a close-knit family though. For some, I've seen trees, so maybe you could stay in the woods. Some people could assume that you stay in the woods or stay around trees or back in my day, trees used to be. So you could be, you know, possibly someone who they assume smokes trees. All right, like you get into like fetish stuff or like secret desire, like you have temptation all of you and overindulgence with the seven of cups. So you could be, they could assume you to be that way, like overindulging, you know what I mean? Always like dealing with chaos, but always trying to avoid conflict, you know what I mean? But sometimes being the cause of it. So that's what they could assume that sometimes you're the cause of it. You're the cause of destruction or, or chaos in people's lives. This is what the assumption is. It doesn't mean that you are, but this... This is what they assume, that you're the, the cause of destruction or or uh, calamity in people's lives or undesirable change. You're the one, the bringer of that. You could be like the fated change in people's lives. So some people could assume that you're the person that comes into their life when they're meant to experience something else or when they're meant to see through the illusion of success or what they consider to be success. Like you come and bring them this sudden realization that maybe... They were looking at the world from a more pessimistic view or from a broad-minded, I mean, from a short-sighted view as opposed to a broad-minded view. They weren't looking at the bigger picture. Now, other people assume that you're a person who can see the bigger picture, and that's how you're able to make abundance, make money, make investments and in non-traditional assets or non-traditional investments. So they could feel like you have great intuition and know, like, Timing, maybe your timing is it. Like they feel like you're very fated to have some type of success or some type of expansion where it brings in a lot of money and you'll feel empowered. So this is the assumption. Like a lot of people feel like that's coming for you. So yeah, they feel like you're budding, like you're in a budding period. Like it's soon. Like you're maybe you're coming with ideas or you're coming up with like you're coming up with like strategies or you're coming up with like different different ways to like maybe you like flip, flip the, the, the lens a little bit or you flip like the angles a little bit until it becomes clear to you or the, like the path becomes clear to you to how to make money, how to make more resources, how to get something, that, how to acquire things. Like you do a lot of shifting around. So people could assume that you do a lot of like moving around, maybe networking, maybe like talking, but they kind of feel like you don't give as much. Like, you know, like your, your eyes on the prize is always on material, money, success, Stuff like that, like you care more about that than actual feelings, love, and like diving deeper with people. This is what they assume. This is what they assume. They assume that you have a lot of resources though. So this could be like people, or this could be like money, this could be like state stability, this could be like anything. They feel like you have a lot of resources. So people are assuming that, so people assume that you have a, like a visionary, like visionary skills, like you're someone who can see what's coming next that's what they assume they assume that you like have like this big perspective of like where you'll be five ten twenty years from now and they assume that you'll be 
soon there, like promoted to that next level or taken to a level that's like above others. Mm -hmm. So let me give you the advice. Believe. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There is nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound, provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. So let me give you signs again. You could be a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aries, a Taurus. I think it was it. Yep. So, um, pile four. <laughs> that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house.